setting emergency department you see a parent of 4 year old girl who has been treated in the emergency department for an undisplaced fracture in the middle third of her clavicle collarbone she has had sling put on and is now ready to be discharged you are giving the parent advice on after care and the healing process the child is not present for the discussion now let's see the task first one says confirm the reason for seeing the parent advice on child's after care healing process find out how the parent is feeling about the child going home second one says give information about the use of sling day and night removal for bathing extra pillows for arm support third one says recommend pain medication for first few days example paracetamol or acetaminophen before bedtime then as required fourth one says suggest ways of encouraging child sling use such as customization or decoration sling on soft toys etc and do is on cessation of sling use usually 3 to 6 weeks fracture site pain free ability to move shoulder and arm stress the importance of no rough play for 8 to 12 weeks after sling removal bone still weak and fragile risk of further fracture find out any questions or concern fifth one says emphasize the follow up appointment unnecessary for undisplaced fracture no supervision or intervention is required usually no complications the last one says advise when to see the doctor pain at fracture site after 6 weeks consistent pain and needle etc now let's begin the role play hi good evening my name is ron and i'm saras attending nurse i'm here to explain saras after care and the healing process am i speaking with saras mother yes nurse she is my daughter okay how may i address you my name is mia okay ms mia before explaining the details may know what do you feel about your child's discharge i'm really thankful to you as my daughter was treated so quickly and so that i can take her home now thank you very much for your help and support nurse i'm happy to hear that i would like to start with some information about using sling sara must wear the sling all day and night but she is allowed to remove it for short period of time during bathing it is also recommended to use extra pillows for arm support which will also make her feel more comfortable okay ms mia i hope you understand that sure ness i understand that you may please continue okay ms mia it is also important to continue pain medication for the first few days to relieve her pain that is we can give her paracetamol or acetaminophen before bedtime as well as whenever she feels pain i hope you follow me ms mia yes nurse i got it i will certainly follow your instructions however i think getting her to wear a sling all the time will be really impossible what should i do yes ms mia i can sense your feelings but don't be overly concerned there are some ways we can encourage her to use a sling first of all you can please try to convince her the importance of the sling along with its benefits apart from that we can make some customization on the sling that is you can do some decorations over the sling to make it more attractive to your daughter moreover it is also a good idea to hang soft toys on the sling how does it sound miss mia yes nurse that's a really great idea glad to know that miss mia now let's discuss cessation of sling use it is recommended to use the sling at least 4 to 6 weeks most importantly it should not be removed until she is pain free at the fracture site and she can move her arm and shoulder freely okay miss mia i hope you are clear now yes nurse i understand that but sara is planning to go to a party in a few weeks time i hope it will be fine for her to go because the sling will be off by then isn't it nurse Yes, I acknowledge your concerns, Miss Mia. However, I would like to remind you that even after the sling has been removed, she needs to be very cautious with her activities. If she feels well, she can resume her normal activities. However, it is highly important to avoid a rough play at least for next eight to twelve weeks after her sling removal, because the bone will still be weak and fragile, and there is a risk of further fracture. Therefore, proper care should be taken to avoid unnecessary complications. Sure, nice. 
I'll make sure she's more careful when she plays after her sling is taken off. Great, Miss Mia. Do you have any other concerns? Yes, nurse. I would like to know when her follow-up appointment will be. This good question, Miss Mia. The follow-up appointment is not really necessary for an undisplaced fracture because it requires no supervision or intervention after the primary care and there are no chances of any complications. So don't be worried at all. No follow-up appointment is necessary for your child. I'm really glad to know that, nurse. I hope my daughter's fracture will be healed faster. In case, if there are any issues or problems, I'll contact the doctor. Yes, Miss Mia, there are instances where you are required to see a doctor. That is, if she feels the pain at the fracture site after six weeks may be unusual and also it can be a sign of complications. If she complains of constant pins and needles, which happens when the blood supply to the nose is cut off, there is something to be taken care of. A common cause is pressure on a specific part of the arm or leg. This usually relieves quickly when the position is changed and the pressure is removed. Persistent pin and needles may be symptomatic of more serious condition, such as nerve injury or inflammation. In such situations, you need to consult the doctor immediately. Okay, Ms. Mia, and do you have any more questions for me? No, nurse. Thank you. I will follow your instructions and I will contact the doctor if there are any problems. Okay, Ms. Mia, let me summarize what we have discussed so far. We have discussed your daughter's aftercare and healing process, followed by the undisplaced fracture. I hope you understand that. If you have any more questions or concerns, you can contact me at any time. I'll be really glad to help you. Thank you, Miss Mia, for spending your valuable time with me. I wish your daughter a speedy recovery. Thank you, nurse. Thank you all. Our role play ends here.